The moral of the movie is Murray uses his time to make himself a better person. We're all living in a kind of Groundhog Day now. What would you do if you were stuck in one place and every day was exactly the same and nothing that you did mattered? Little changes for those of us who are hunkered down. Honestly, can you tell me the day of the week? For a second there, Al, I, I forgot what day it was. What many of us did not anticipate was the coronavirus partner pathogen, anxiety. How to pay the bills? When can we go back to work? Should I get a test? Are my adult kids or my parents abiding by the distance guidelines? The numbers keep going up. 92,000 tested positive, 13,000 currently hospitalized. And the news only grows more urgent. Temporary morgues now set up outside of some hospitals. Mortality estimates enough to sober even the most cavalier. New projections show as many as 240,000 deaths in the United States over the coming months. Yet as we worry, we wonder how on earth they do it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. The health professionals who face the pandemic every day. What we see are face shields and gurneys. What they see are people with needs sometimes they cannot meet and co-workers who themselves are getting sick. Mercy. The first responders, in some parts of New York, neighbors say it seems the sirens never stop. The Empire State Building, lit like an ambulance every night. We cook, we cope. We watch crazy TV shows. This is my way of living, and nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. That guy with the lions and tigers, Oh my. For some of us, Turner Classic Movies has been the answer. Operator, I want to speak to the Hotel Ritz. Please hurry, this is an emergency. The world in simple black and white. Music abounds, and the virtual orchestras and choruses uplift us. Yet as spring sets in, our souls yearn for the rituals of Lent and Passover, Holy Week, the Seder, we miss that feeling of community. Let's get you someplace warm. In the movie, Bill Murray's weatherman found the answer in service. And this week, we saw restaurants delivering meals to hospitals, gratis. And the newspaper delivery man tending to the needs of his shut-in customers, one by one. You know, if you get a chance to help him, you help him. But the person who inspired us most is this Texan introduced to us by Cynthia McFadden. Chris Austin's backyard business is cranking out hundreds of ventilator helmets a day. We think of what if that was our son or daughter or, or grandfather sitting there in that bed gasping for air and we have to explain to him that, I'm sorry, we don't have anything for you. Uh, and this, I think, will make it much more available for a larger number of people. The cost, $162 each. And get this, he's willing to share his design with other manufacturers for free. <laughs>